Hello again, this is going to be the Pressure Riprap Build 11. We're going to be working on electronics. And so this is uh, what I'm going to be putting my ramps board onto and then attaching to the Riprap with uh, zip ties. And now, and I cut some of these uh, nylon spacers just to lift up a little the ramps off of the board because I'm planning on later to uh, put a fan next to it if it gets too hot. All right. So first, I took uh, the pre-made uh, ramps apart. Um, just because I couldn't get to these screws from the top. And so I'm going to put the uh, number four inch or three quarter inch long screws and then put the nylon spacer there and then put the board underneath that and then uh, tighten that up. All right, now this is on there. I'm gonna get the top part of the ramps on here. And when I took this off, I kind of bent this bottom piece right there. You can see it. So I'll try to unbend that and then put this on top. All right, so here's the ramps with the board I made uh, installed onto the ripper app. And then next we'll be uh, putting together mechanical end stops. Okay, so this is Ultra Machine's uh, wiring and uh, mechanical end stops that came with uh, ramps. And I have to thank them so many times for already having these pre-crimped so I don't have to do any soldering at all uh, for all the end stops. Um, one thing that uh, I question though is the, the holes to screw into, into these are so tiny that not even my M3s will go through it. And that's the smallest besides uh, number four screws that I can find locally, so I don't know how they wanted uh, these screwed in. I heard gluing, but I don't really want to glue it just in case I want to change something. So what I used instead, uh, here's the one that I just made, I used uh, copper wiring to uh, hold it in place until I find a better solution, but it doesn't move, so hopefully that's okay. So how it's supposed to be wired according to the winky is on the let me see one sec uh, on the ground which I use for black uh, on the C so this is uh, labeled with C so I clamp that on and then for the NC uh, the other wire which in turn I put in, on here this way until they snapped um, which connects to the ramps as a S and then a ground negative so that will just be placed on the ramps board for whatever side it goes on so then I'll make the next two and we'll go on from there. All 
So what you just saw me do is uh, twist these wires so that so they stay together. Look how nice that is compared to them going all over the place. And then next, um, what I have to do so the copper wire works um, is on here. As you can see, uh, it doesn't line up with the holes at all. So I have to I have to uh, screw uh, one hole, and then I just use this outer hole for the for the copper wire and tighten that up. Alright, now I put in the end stops now. There's my back one. Wiki says to have it the other way around where this is on this side, but since I did my fancy cut right here, that's not going to work. So I just put it on the other side, it should be just fine. And then we have this one placed here. And then the last one placed right up there. And they're not tightened down yet. Okay, so now I have everything that we've talked about so far hooked up to the ramps board. So first the x-axis, uh, the mechanical switch uh, runs down here and that will all be covered up. And that is the very first one that's hooked up to our uh, ramps board here. And then we skip a slot and the next one is the y-axis which is right back there and that one goes, uh, the wiring goes underneath and comes up and around and goes right there and then we skip another one and the next one is the Z the Z mechanical switch which is right there and that goes around to right there and then here's all the wiring so far, it's quite a mess and then uh, next video we'll be talking about the power supply.